जय हिंद टूडे वी हैव एसर टी सी सेवन एट जीरो डेस्कटॉप मदर बोर्ड दिस मदर बोर्ड इज पार ऑन बट इज नॉट डिस्प्लेन सो वी गोइंग टू चेक वन टाइम सो प्रेसिंग द पार ऑन ऑफ स्विच फॉर द एस एम पी एस इनपुट वोल्टेज ना एंड दिस एस एम पी एस इज ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड विद द मदर बोर्ड सो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेस पावर ऑन ऑफ स्विच टू फॉर मदर बोर्ड एंड यू सी हेयर द फैन इज ऑन फैन इज रनिंग गुड बट देर इज नो एनी डिस्प्ले एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू सी देर द पावर ऑन ऑफ स्विच देर इज नो एनी लाइट ऑन ऑन द पावर ऑन ऑफ स्विच द मदर बोर्ड पावर ऑन ऑफ स्विच ओके सी हेयर देर इज नो एनी डिस्प्ले फैन स्टिल ऑन एंड सी देर इज नो एल ई डी ऑन देर इज नो एनी पावर लाइट ऑन so now we are going to check uh, i'm going to check the voltages for this motherboard so you see here the fan is still on and cpu is not heat cpu not going heat so here is primary mosfet drain voltage is perfect okay but if you see here source and gate voltage for the primary mosfet there is no any voltage same thing here drain voltage coming but the prime uh, volt uh, source volt and gate voltage is not coming on the primary mosfet this is also same mosfet paid here also coming okay see here this is the mosfet drain it is coming okay voltage but on a source there is no voltage on gate there is no voltage same thing secondary mosfet drain there is no voltage okay because of the primary voltage is not getting uh, gate voltage that is why we not receiving source voltage on a primary source point see here same thing we not receiving any voltage from primary gate in this situation there is one buck controller ic we going uh, normally we checking the buck controller ic this is all section is vrm section for the cpu power on voltage this is the buck controller ic to controlling to all mosfet primary and secondary for the cpu still is not it now i'm going to cut the power of the smps I'm going to cut power power for the smps you see the fan off removing the cable behind the smps now i'm going to check uh, going to check for uh, short circuit see here so whether setting is perfect so now i'm going to st check step by step by on a coil here is the mosfet uh, drain there is no sorting but here is the source because of the cpu inside that is why we getting uh, 00 ohms and we we seeing here the short circuit you see here i remove the cpu and there is no any short circuit so before you checking uh, vrm section you, we have to remove that cpu any desktop motherboard we have to remove even the laptop motherboard we have to remove the cpu if there is inbuilt cpu then reboot the processor or check here is no sorting in a vrm section there is no any sorting now we going to check this side here also no sorting
there is no sorting now this is the regulate mosfet so we're going to check that one also there is also not sorting here is one more coil so we're going to check here also we're not getting any sort sorting there here is okay here we're getting a sorting 00 ohms we receiving 00 ohms here so now we going i'm going to remove that both uh, ram see still we receiving 00 ohms we receiving short circuit here on the on this coil see so here is is this is the whole circuit all the section here so in this capacitor we're not receiving any short circuit or not receiving any zeroms here okay but on on this here on this side we receiving zero zero ohms that means something short on this section this section is we not receiving any short circuit here but the on the coil we re we receiving the short circuit so now we have to check the that section particular so now i'm going to remove that coil because i'm to i have to make sure which section have short circuit so i'm going to remove that uh, section so if i remove the sec uh, coil that is means i'm open the short uh, open this circuit now you see here the secondary side on the coil we re uh, receiving the 00 ohms we receiving short circuit here so now i'm going to disconnect all the capacitor there small two capacitor then small uh, totally four capacitor there too big too small so i just disconnect one one pad so here is the second side you see now we're not receiving any uh, short circuit because we disconnect the capacitors so you see here this is the ground point this is the already ground that is why we receiving zero zero ohms this is the positive pin so we're not receiving any there this is the ground point you see the capacitor second point is okay here the small two capacitors this one is okay okay now here is one more capacitor this is the ground point for this capacitor this is the second point for the capacitor we see here we are saying zero zero that is means this capacitor have problem you see this is the ground this capacitor have problem so now i'm going to remove this capacitor I'm going to remove this capacitor and replace with uh, other capacitor. You see here, we're receiving 00. You see, 00 ohm. So, this is the capacitor is short. So, now this is the laptop motherboard. So, I'm uh, I'm just re replacing with this capacitor with uh, with our so in this case if you see we on the first we, when we check the VRM we're not getting a primary or secondary MOSFET gate voltage so so in that case if we normally checking so what uh, what some people can do the people can do like we, uh, people just go to check the VRM section, then the uh, MOSFET, bug controller, IU controller, and last say the ICH have a problem or PCH have a problem, the CPU, uh, the motherboard can fix or something like that. But before that, we have to check that all the components for the short circuit like this, what I just doing right now. So in this case, 
on motherboard there is no fix problem for anyone yeah is suppose we sometime it will become same problem but we have to check one by one there is no fix uh, solution for uh, any kind of motherboard even a laptop or something else or desktop or uh, even ups also now if you see here is perfectly uh, we receiving ohms here there is no any short circuit because we replace that capacitor and we when we replacing that capacitor we already check that capacitor also so now i'm going to plug the processor inside and if you see here i'm not plug that uh, i'm not install the ram uh, there is no cmos battery also i'm going to plug power on switch you see the power on light on okay and if you know uh, we getting the and the ram beeping also is coming here so now i'm going to plug that ram also the smp is off i'm going to connect that both ram power on the switch for smps and here we power on motherboard we, uh, the light is on on a power on of switch because we not connect that uh, cmos battery so on that case this uh, motherboard uh, just restart two or three time automatically for the post uh, signals and then it will be come on uh, uh, is display also with the display you see here is off automatically and then it's coming on automatically you see so this process will become like one or two time also you see now you're going to check the display on the screen so the display is on display is coming on perfectly there is no any problem exactly display is perfect there is no any problem you see here i5 motherboard acer CPU also is heating. Now we're going to check the voltage. We're receiving 2.5 volt here. Here is supposed to be 1.05 volt. Is 1.05 volt perfect? and we receiving the vrm voltage also that's it for this video keep repair see you in next video jai hind vande matra